Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on March 14, 2023. Cumbria under snow and Avril Lavigne interrupted, Tuesday's best photos. The four-meter-wide board detailing the entire Russian military chain of command in Ukraine. Russia says it does not recognize Hague Court amid reports of arrest warrants. The Guardian, casualties mount in battle for Bakhmut, as ICC, prepares first arrest warrants over Russia's invasion. The Independent, ICC plans to open war crimes cases against Russia over Ukraine, report. Anadolu Agency, English, ICC to issue first arrest warrants linked to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Guardian, ICC to open war crimes cases against Russians, report. Clear strategy, Italy blames Russia's Wagner Group for surge in migrants. Security minister asks cyber experts to investigate TikTok. BBC, TikTok ban, UK minister asks National Cyber Security Centre to look into safety of app. Sky News, Rishi Sunak hints at TikTok ban from UK government devices. The Guardian, could China spy on you through phone apps? Minister says cyber experts probing risks. Evening Standard, where TikTok is restricted around the world as the UK government considers taking action. Bali to ban tourists from renting motorbikes. Goshi, Japan YouTuber MP expelled for never going to work. AUKUS deal, summit was projection of power and collaborative intent. Donald Trump blames Mike Pence for January 6 violence because he wouldn't do what rioters wanted. The Independent, Mike Pence, history will never forget Trump's disgrace. The Times, Press, Mike Pence sets the bar for 2024. Gary Lineker Rowe is like something from Putin's Russia, claims Labour. Sky News, Gary Lineker suspension echoes Putin's Russia, says Labour. The Guardian, Culture Minister suggests TV license losing support among public. Evening Standard, Roe over Gary Lineker's anti-government tweets like, Putin's Russia, claims Labour. Politico Europe, Labour Shadow Culture Secretary, Lineker's BBC suspension akin to Putin's Russia, video. Paris resembles dump as more than 5,000 tons of rubbish festers on streets following Binman strike. Sky News, French bin strike, Paris holds its nose as waste piles up. BBC, France protests, Macron's pension age bill reaches endgame. Bloomberg, what to expect from Wednesday's pension strike in France. The local France, Iran lashes out at France as efforts to release French prisoners stall. Ukraine-Russia news, latest, Putin recruits soldiers from women's prison to make up for heavy losses. The Independent, Ukrainian and Russian casualties mount as battle for central Bakhmut rages. The Guardian, Ukraine war, intense fighting continues in Bakhmut. Euronews, Ukraine updates, Zelensky says future depends on Bakhmut. DW, English, in photos, Russian forces inch forward in Bakhmut at terrible human cost. China to reopen to foreign tourists for first time since Covid crisis. The Guardian, China reopening borders to foreign tourists for first time since Covid erupted. BBC, China to resume issuing all visa types for first time since 2020. Al Jazeera English, China to reopen borders to foreign tourists for first time since 2020. The Telegraph, China to finally reopen to tourists. Storm Freddy, Malawi declares state of disaster as nearly 200 killed. BBC, record-breaking cyclone Freddy kills nearly 200 in Malawi and Mozambique. Sky News, cyclone Freddy kills more than 200 people across Malawi and Mozambique. The Independent, immediate medical needs in Malawi after cyclone Freddy hits southern region. Medsansons Frontiers, MSF, International, storm Freddy kills more than 100 in southern Africa. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.